Rob Brandon Johnson reveling in the victory today, winning with 51% of the vote after initially polling just over 2% back in October. Today he was talking a lot about the importance of uniting a city that was clearly divided in this election. Commissioner Brandon Johnson all smiles this morning with a new title. Good morning, Mr. Mayor-elect. Mr. Craig Wall, how are you? Johnson now ready to move ahead. And I can't wait to be sworn in as the next mayor of the greatest city in the world. The thrill of last night's campaign victory now giving way to the reality of governing the city of Chicago. What will be your number one priority when you take office? Obviously, public safety is something that has been on the minds of people in the city of Chicago for a very long time. I mean, it's a very severe problem. And uniting the city requires us to sit down and talk to everyone. Johnson says that includes police as well as community and faith leaders and members of the newly elected district police councils. I think I made the right choice. Johnson began his day at the CTA Red Line stop in Chinatown thanking voters. But one group his campaign is really thanking is younger voters, many who may have been motivated by the rally with Bernie Sanders to go to the polls. How much was the youth vote a factor? It was monumental. You saw it. And that's the type of excitement that we need, right? Think about the number of people in my generation or older that are constantly pushing young people to get engaged. And we did that. But less than a week after the pre-runoff city council voted to reorganize and appoint its own committee chairs, Johnson signaling that will need to change. Now, there are members now who will be joining the city council that also should be able to weigh in on how those committees are structured. So you want to see that redone after the new council well, is sworn in? What I want to see is that everyone gets to participate. Mayor Alec Johnson will also have to navigate concerns the business community will have with his tax plan. More on that and Johnson's plan to prevent the typical summer spike in violence that we often see here in Chicago. I wonder if you got any sleep last night. I don't think you got a lot if you didn't get any. Yeah. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.